find it very disturbing because they've decided the fate and actions of millions uh, here in the United States. They only took their point of view into consideration, uh, though the Supreme Court really isn't meant to do that. They're really supposed to be looking at the populace as a whole and how the Constitution applies to all, not just a few, um, which is disturbing. I'm saddened and deeply frustrated. It scares me where this country is going. I do not agree with the decision and think that they did not do the, proof, the burden of proof of a overturning a constitutional right that has been there for the past um, five decades. That's a touchy subject, I think, you know, for a lot of people. But at the end of the day, it's like, how much control do you want the government to have over your personal lives? And there's a line. And so I feel like God gave us free will for a reason. And it's, even if they banned abortion, it was still, it'll still happen. It might as well happen safely. I think that it is a basic right of a woman to decide for herself what is occurring in her body. I think even if you look at like protecting life, we don't require people to protect life in cases of like, we don't require people to donate organs despite the fact that there's like thousands of people on a wait list. And that's whether or not a person is alive or dead. So I think it doesn't really matter if a person can protect life. They should keep it legal. That's more of somebody's personal life. Um, they don't ever have to share that publicly in any way, shape, or form. Um, but with the government making it illegal, they just put a lot of people at risk. Um, abortions won't go away even though they are illegal. Um, they'll just make them really dangerous again um, for the population. I think that abortion is a personal decision and it's part of your medical health and it should be legal, safe, and available to everyone. I know a little, I've looked into it some. Um, I find it very frustrating to look into it just because I don't agree with the bill at all um, and the trigger laws that are gonna be put in place. Me personally, because I'm not a woman, I won't person like directly be impacted, um, but I have plenty of family and friends that have had abortions for their own reasons and just knowing that even just some of my friends if they need to have an abortion they can't without going out of state is scary because I care for my friends and knowing that they don't have that is terrifying for me. I think that the main people that it impacts are low income people because realistically like myself or a lot of my friends would just go to Colorado or Nevada so I think really it's the people that are like low income earners that can't afford to do that, um, which is just a ton of, leads to a ton of other issues um, because those are a lot of types of people who really need it, can't afford childcare, food, et cetera.